The growing popularity of fantasy football and other contests can be hard on those with gambling addictions. You may have seen the ads for sites like FanDuel and DraftKings, advertising large cash prizes every week. You pay money to enter every week, and you get paid if you win, but lose your money if you don't. While those sites aren't legally considered gambling sites, they can still pose problems for those with a history of gambling addiction. Those um, are definitely big triggers for gamblers because if they promise big payouts, you know, that in a gambler's mind gets the gambler to be thinking about, wow, I could really win big here. Um, and again, it, you know, it just triggers those old pathways in the brain that I want to get back into this. Fantasy football websites were ruled exempt from the federal unlawful Internet Gambling Enforcement Act in 2006 because Congress said they were games of skill, not games of chance.